to do Vol State or not to do Vol State? That is the question, whether to suffer the heat and humidity, 300 plus miles of Tennessee roads in the middle of summer for 10 days, up to 10 days, or to realize it's not my rodeo. My rodeo is the desert. I've lived and trained here in Bakersfield since the 70s. I like it dry, it gets five, six inches of rain. So it's basically a desert. We just water the shit out of it. So I'm not a humidity guy. Didn't realize how much of a humidity guy I wasn't until 2018 when I paced and crewed my good friend Carla Kent at Badwater. Stayed up the entire time and I ended up doing 50 miles of the race. I never thought it was very warm. I mean, granted, someone's giving you water and ice every mile or two, but I really enjoyed the whole experience. Bakersfield, it's in the hundreds throughout the summer. I'm good with that right now. It's in the forties, but it's a dry heat. So I do bad water in July, and then I go to race the ages in Tennessee in September. I've never been hotter than my life. As soon as the sun comes up, you know, it's like, I started at 5 a.m. because I have 55 hours. As soon as the sun comes up, bam, like here in Bakersfield, it doesn't get warm until three or four in the afternoon. But Tennessee, as soon as the sun comes up, bam, it's in the 90s, 100% humidity. It seemed to rain a couple times and just was absolutely miserable to the point where day one, I got to 74 miles. And on the second day, I ended up going old school because I didn't have a hotel. And I went and took a, uh, uh, a long break. I went to a movie theater and watched Mission Impossible just to get in the air conditioning. Then I went back and went all walked all night and ended up getting, ended up with 110 miles, did most of it at night. So that's kind of, I'm more of a dry kind of guy. Plus I'm a loop guy. Now I'd vaguely heard of the Vol State run across Tennessee, but when I went to the cross year six day race, 2013, 2014, the one where Giannis Kuros and Joe Fee just had their epic battle. And I got to spend six days with both of them and many others. A lot of East Coast people came to that race. And I'd mainly been on California West Coast. And so when I met all these East Coast people, after they saw me walking for a day or two, they started telling me about, you got to do Vol State, race across Tennessee. John Price was there, who's even written a book about Vol State. And so I was curious. And then they're like, hey, you signed up before... Uh, New Year's Eve, you know, it's cheaper. It's like a couple hundred bucks. So here I am walking around in circles in the Phoenix desert, have you, and people are telling me, you should do this race across Tennessee. I mean, I ended up doing 322 miles in six days, and I've done that once before, <coughs> 315. So they're like, hey, and so on New Year's Eve, four days into the six, my first six-day race, I'm in my tent taking a break, freezing my ass off, and thought, you know what, I'll sign up. So I signed up to do my first of all state. So that would have been 2014. Um, then I started thinking, well, hell, you get 10 days. How do I get there? When am I finished? How am I going to get home? All this kind of stuff. And then Joe Fee just decided to put on a six days of the dome in Alaska in August. And so I did not go to Vol State. I was supposed to get a refund. Never did get a refund. So over the years, I've heard more and more about Vol State and realized it's really not a race for me. I, like I said, I like the desert. I like the social aspect of going around and around in circles with people, seeing people the entire time. I'm not really a big fan of point-to-point -point courses. The gun goes off, I'm by myself. The only people I see are the people I catch and they're usually quitting or we're all missing cutoffs. So, and then of course, like I said, I went to Tennessee. The humidity is brutal. So. I'm on the fence, said I got the email yesterday that I'm off the wait list and I could sign up. I'd sign up for the screwed one. And it's not that you don't have a crew, it's just they get you to the finish, they get you to the start line by bus, put you up at a hotel, and then get you to a hotel. But then again, the same problems are, you know, how long am I gonna take? When do I fly in? Well, I know when to fly in, but when am I gonna fly out? I mean, I'm not a big person to hang around. So, you know, once I'm done, I wanna go home. Hell, I did that at the six days of the dome. I was done after 60 miles. And thankfully I went home because my airlines didn't screw me on the points. So doing this race and then of course, the humidity and the remoteness. And it's definitely not what I'm into. 
So over the years, I've talked myself out of doing a uh, race across Tennessee. Of course, this past year, after I had my grease fall, the Bajon's Burger grease fall, couldn't walk for six weeks, then ended up in the hospital with congestive heart failure at the end of April. What got me moving and motivated this summer was Laz put on the great race across the great virtual race across Tennessee, where it was a thousand kilometers from the longest ends, and I ended up doing the race across Tennessee, back across Tennessee. So I ended up doing you know uh, 1,200 miles in four months. So it definitely motivated me. Sign up for this race would definitely motivate me to train, but then my mindset of doing long overnight multi-day racing is not really where it should be. I've been telling myself to take a break and just do kind of half marathons. I said before, you know, the past decade was how far. This decade is more how fast. And then I got to take into consideration my health. Um, the heat and humidity would really tax my heart. And then, of course, uh, I've been doing some awesome sleep lately. You know, getting 80, high 80s, 90s sleep scores and sleeping better than I have in my, my whole life. And I realized that all those uh, multi-day racing, crewing and pacing, staying up for days and probably weeks or more a year, pulling all those all-nighters, it's not good for my health and definitely not for my future health. So it's the all to all state or not to all state. I have to take into consideration um, my rules, stay healthy, be boring, not epic.